Hey, what's up, Coffee Explorers? So today is unboxing day. The first unboxing day in Traveling Coffee Guy channel history. Stick around. Welcome back, Coffee Explorers. All right, like I said, today is unboxing day and the very first unboxing day in traveling coffee guy history. I'm really excited about it because this is the beginning of some big things that are gonna happen with this channel. Here we go. Right here is a box that I just got in the mail and it says it's from Welly LLC, Welly Bottle, a company out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, let's see what we got going on in here. Well, looks like we've got a cup. Uh, looks like a travel cup. And, uh, let's see, Welly, an insulated infusing bamboo travel mug. BPA free, 12 ounces, cold up to 24 hours, hot up to 8 hours, and 3% of sales to clean water projects, so that's pretty awesome. Every sip counts. Drink with purpose. Inspired by my mom's lifetime commitment to healthy living and philanthropy, as well as her courage until passing from cancer, I founded Welly to continue her legacy of helping to make the world a little more pure in both body and spirit. We offer stylish and sustainable drinkware for wherever life takes you and by supporting global water charities, Welly ensures clean water for those who need it the most. Live Purely, Ben Kander, founder and CEO. So yeah, so here is Welly. It's got a pretty cool engraved logo on the, in the bamboo wood there on the top here. Let's take this label off. This is what it looks like all the way around. It's got a nice flip top of really good size hole to drink through. Open it up. Drink life in, it says on the inside of the plastic. And then we got this infuser here, a little basket. Essentially, you can you can fill this with tea or coffee or something like that, and then just put it right back in, and then pour the hot water over, and and you'll have yourself a pour over. So that's pretty ingenious thinking. And it looks like you can get this at Welly.com. It is made out of bamboo, BPA-free plastic, silicone, and eight by eight food grade stainless steel thanks so uh, welly this is this is great I definitely wasn't expecting such a, a great product I'm, I'm going to uh, test it out over the next couple of days give my opinion of how this thing works so yeah I'm really excited for this this is this thing is built really well I I'm really impressed. This is, it feels nice in the hand and yeah. All right, so over the next couple of days, I'm going to use it as somebody would, see what happens, and then at the end of this video, give my opinions and my thoughts on the Welly Travel Cup. This is awesome. But before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to my channel hit that bell button next to it. It's gonna make it so you don't miss any of my uploads to, to the channel. Sometimes YouTube doesn't let you know when one of the creators that you subscribe to uploads a video. Sometimes they do. If you're interested in following my channel and hit that like button, so go ahead and do all of that. If you wanna visit my Etsy store, on my main channel page, if you go up to the cover logo, there's a little Etsy logo up there, you just click that, it'll take you right to the store. You can get this awesome Will Travel for Coffee shirt there. I hope you want one, but let's get on with the rest of the video. I am getting ready to drive from Centralia to Seattle. We're actually renting. It's about an hour and a half to two hour drive. I am going to take 
the Welly Cup, the Welly 12 ounce Traveler. I am going to fill it with hot coffee and I'm going to just let it sit in the cup until I get up to Seattle to test to see how well it keeps the coffee hot. That is what we're going to do and I will check in with you once we get there and we'll take a drink and I'll tell you how well it did. This is some good Indonesian Geo coffee that I just roasted a couple days ago. Oh, I can't wait to go to Bali and go to some coffee farms here in a couple weeks. It's going to be amazing. Got this cup full of coffee here. Going to take off. Let's see how well this thing holds up to the keeping the coffee hot test. If I'd be a betting man, which I'm not. I'd say it's gonna be probably almost just as hot as it is right once I get up there, but we'll find out. see my dad uh, traffic was a little more heavy than I thought it was gonna be it actually took me about almost three hours instead of the hour and a half to two hours I was expecting but that just means that we had an extra hour to let this thing sit so here it is the welly cup with the coffee let's see how hot the coffee still is Oh man, this is just as hot as when I put the coffee in there. So, it's been about three hours since I put the coffee in. It's still just as hot as when I put it in there. I gotta say that we're winning so far on that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this back up and go in and spend uh, some time with my dad. Probably an hour or so. And uh, and we'll come check it again once we once we get back out from there and then we're going to end up heading home see you in a little bit all right i'm back sorry about the lighting it's gotten a little bit darker outside it's been about two hours since i checked it the last time so we're sitting at a right around five hours now i think maybe five and a half hours so let's give it a let's give it a shot and see where we're at temperature wise It's a little bit cooler than it was last time, but it's still nice and warm. So their claim of it will keep uh, hot liquids warm for four hours. They really hit the mark on that one because we're sitting at five, five and a half hours now. And it's still uh, like when you pour a cup of coffee and it's sitting for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes after it, it just begins to start lose its temperature yeah it's 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 just at the perfect drinking temperature right now there we have it so when when i get home later tonight we will wash this thing out and we'll put some cold water in it and see how long it takes to hold on to the cold all right i'm home now it was 12:30 p.m when i put the coffee originally in the welly cup it is now 9 30 p.m so it has been nine hours so let's just see i still have a little bit more coffee in here let's see how the temperature's doing yeah it's still warm so you know they said that that it'll keep a drink warm for four hours and we're going on nine hours and it's still worth drinking as far as keeping your hot liquids 
hot. I highly recommend this Wally Cup. Now let's move on and do a cold test. It says it'll keep cold drinks cold for 24 hours. So I'm going to go grab some ice water and then we're going to fill this up. Leave it here on this table. I'll come check it out when I wake up in the morning. Alright, so it is officially 9.30 p.m. I got a bag of some crushed ice here. and then we just add some water. Plenty of water there. And then we'll just close her on up. All right, we'll come check this out in the morning when right, I wake it's up. It's been uh, 12 and a half hours since I put the ice water into the end of the welly cup, so. Ice seems to have melted. Let's see how cold it is. Well, it's still, still cold, and it's not like ice cold anymore. I was really, I'm really kind of surprised that the ice melted as good of a deal as we had with how long it held the heat. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. It's 12 hours. It's supposed to keep stuff cold for 24 hours. I guess here in about another 6 hours, we'll check and see where we're at again. So now it's been 18 hours since I added the ice water into the cup. Well, the outside of the cup feels cold. So let's take a drink see what happens. All right, the water is still cold. It's about the same temperature as it was uh, when I checked it last time. 18 hours, water is still cold at a nice drinkable temperature. So now we're a little bit over 24 hours since I put the ice water in the cup. Let's check it out and see where we're at now. Well, the, the outside of the cup is still fairly, fairly cool. And it's still, it's still nice and drinkable. It's definitely doing its job. I would say it's not gonna keep ice from melting, but it's gonna keep your drink cold. And it's been about 25 hours since we put it in there. So after the hot test and the cold test, I would say this is definitely a great product. All right, let's see how this Welly Cup uh, performs as a pour over. I got some We'll ground up coffee here. Inside of the cup there is this little diffuser. Let's see how much this thing will hold. So I think I just put in about 10 or 11 grams of coffee there. Unfortunately, when I was making my last video where I was making the bulletproof coffee, I ended up breaking my kettle as I was cleaning everything up. So I had to heat this water up using my drip pop coffee maker. Start the bloom going. Trying to pour this as slowly as possible. There isn't a whole lot of room for the coffee to go anywhere and not much room for the water in the top of this. There isn't really any place for the air to get out of the bottom, so it's kind of going up through the coffee, kind of making it bubble a little bit. So maybe not quite ideal. This might not be the best thing for this, but I think definitely this will work in a pinch if you're out traveling or camping or something like that. Give it a nice stir here, see if we can help this out a bit. I would say it's definitely brewing as it slowly lets the water through. Let's see here, got to find this little hook here. Pull that out. And I didn't bring anything to wipe the rim off, so definitely going to have some grounds in it. But let's just put this back on here. I do love the hole in this lid. This is by far the best drinking travel cup I've ever tried. 
And I've tried quite a few. All right, let's see how the coffee goes. Wow. That actually, that's the, the slow pour over that it forces you to do. It actually makes for a, a really, really nice cup of coffee. I think with my final review of this cup is it keeps the coffee warm for way longer than it says that it will keep it warm. It won't keep the ice in your ice water frozen for very long, but it does keep your cold drinks cold for over 24 hours. It's really nice to drink out of. It takes a while to make a pour over coffee with it, but it definitely works and it works pretty well. It makes pretty good coffee. It's more designed for tea or uh, putting fruit and stuff like that in your water and having it under the diffuser. It will 100% work when you're out camping or traveling and you want a cup of pour over coffee. I think it's totally worth what they're charging for it. I've never had a travel cup anywhere near this kind of quality and it's sustainable. Thanks again to the people over at Welly for sending me this cup. I definitely didn't ask for it. Uh, it's a great gesture. I'm, I'm excited. This video is not sponsored by Welly Cup. As all my videos are sponsored by myself so if you like my if you like my shirt go ahead and check out my Etsy store there you can pick up a shirt a backpack uh, a hoodie be sure to like subscribe comment share all of this kind of stuff helps uh, my channel grow the algorithm really likes it when my viewers actually engage with my content down below in the comments. Anytime you can do that, it definitely helps me out. Just a little smack of that thumbs up button over there. YouTube really likes to see that. Well, again, thanks for, a lot for watching. Love food. Enjoy travel. And as always, sip exquisitely.